beautiful people. I received a request to show how one would produce distorted vocals in a song using Logic Pro. So that's what I'm gonna do today. First, I need a song though. There we go. Uh, just a quick little song. I just whipped it out in a few minutes. And the lyrics are also completely off the top of the head and dumb. <laughs> The important part is how we get distorted vocals. I achieved such things using three different methods. So the first one I'll talk about is using sort of console distortion or a pre-gain in like a preamp type thing. Uh, I used the, uh, the same vocal track to demonstrate all of these different effects. So we're gonna use a plugin in Logic that sounds like pre-gain which is the Distortion 2 plugin, normally done for guitar or, you know, anything else you need distortion on. I just turned the pre-gain all the way up, and I turned the drive all the way up too, just to get it as gainy, fuzzy as possible. And uh, that simulates uh, the signal from the mic sort of overloading the, uh, the capacity of the tape or whatever. So let's listen to that. Yeah, there it is. It gets kind of difficult to understand the lyrics, I guess. To remedy not being able to understand the lyrics, you know, do some EQ, cut those low mids, and you should be fine. It, it'll work. It'll work as is, honestly. And it all, all depends on what you're going for. Whether you want something super dirty, not understandable, or just a subtle thing. Uh, next, we do the probably least good sounding one, which is uh, just crushing it with compression, or smashing it, or squashing it, that's what it is. That is the term. Yeah, squashing it with compression, and you get some distorted artifacts, and here's what that sounds like. themselves finally you can just sing through one of logic's guitar amps or guitar sims uh, I chose the hot rotted thing which is what I I do for that's the main amp I use simulates a fender hot rod deluxe just the sound that I like to do of course you will be EQing everything you do but you know I think this is the sound that works the best with the least amount of... It requires the least amount of work done to it to sound pretty decent, I think. So here's that one. Those are the three methods that I can think of to achieve distorted vocals in Logic. Let's run through the entire song and just compare uh, all the different vocal sounds. Let's run through them.
there you go. Yeah, that's it. Sort of off the cuff today, but that's fine. For more informational videos relating to recording or whatever, subscribe, like, give this video a comment, tell me some videos you'd like to see, and I'll get started on them right away. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.